I was absolutely sweating it from the last rose ceremony. I received the final rose and it's left me feeling quite unsettled. If there is any doubt there, then Angie, to think that I'm a liar, it needs to be gone. It needs to be put to bed. I'd love to clear up with Angie my past with acting and that it's, it's not the reason why I'm here. I have no other ulterior motive. Today's date means that there's an opportunity for me to step up and really show Angie like I'm the real deal. I'm gonna run you over. Oh my God. <laughs> We're just outside of Sydney at Glenworth Valley Outdoor Adventures and I just really want to use today to get to the bottom of Carlin's acting career. <gasps> Badass. Did I almost hit you? <laughs> so you're going to run me over. <laughs> like, what is this prankster doing? Hey, back. I still have a bunch of questions that I have to ask Carlin. I do want to talk more about why he felt like he couldn't share his passions with me and that would you know, make me think that he's not here for the right reasons. Thanks for keeping me around, hey. Appreciate it. Yeah. You looked very shocked. <laughs> yeah. You seemed super shocked. I was. I was just like, <gasps> I was packing it. Colin and I have had our ups and downs. It really has been a roller coaster. Let's get in my big old car. You get in that right. side. It's been a movie. It's like, we, you know, the couple meet, couple break up, and then they get back together and they're stronger than ever. And it's just like, is that what I was supposed to experience through this? The other night at Hometowns, it just got heavy. Like, he threw me with what he said. And I was like, whoa, this is brand new information to me. Yeah. So sort of part of the issue about me wanting to even talk about it, because I just feel like with this whole experience, you know, like talking about acting or modeling or anything like that, I feel like they're dirty words. You know, I didn't want to give you any doubts. And it just, it feels like it backfired. It honestly just feel like it backfired me, like, not delving into that. All I ask from you is to be honest with me. I just see that there's quite a bit of doubt in Angie's mind. I'm in sort of muddy water right now, and I'm willing to do anything that it takes to prove to her that I'm here for her. This is awkward. Colin and I, you know, we just... I don't know, even though there's been so much stuff, there's just something about him that I just can't can't shake. Yeah, this is our last time to hang out before I have to make one of the most hardest decisions that I have to make. My feelings for Angie are so incredibly strong and today I need to clear up if there's any doubt with Angie and just be completely upfront and honest. We've come through quite a bit. I feel like it's almost been like a relationship in itself. It's like we met and it was like 24 hours where we, it was just us. Yeah. We had a fight and then we made up mm. and then we had another fight. <clears throat> just to, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. It hasn't been smooth sailing, mm -mm. but it's been worth it. You are worth it to me. I want Angie to see that I can be the guy for her. She needs to know how much I care about her, and that is, like, what today is, is all about, really. Yeah, I really appreciate you saying that. Yeah. But the biggest thing is to communicate. I, I think that's huge. Like, you've just... You've got to be honest. You've got to communicate. I need to get to the bottom as to why Carlin felt like he couldn't tell me the truth about the whole acting thing. If not, then I feel like we just can't move forward. Yeah. I chatted with your brother and it did rattle me and I was like, whoa, that's heavy news. The one thing that I get so upset about is that I don't want you to feel like you can't tell me what you're passionate about. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be able to love like a, an actor or a model? I just don't know why you would feel like I yeah, wouldn't I, trust I, you. I, uh, well, I don't think it was a... Um right now. I'm fighting for Angie. I don't want her to think that there's maybe something else that I'm not telling her. I want it all to be on the table. I think it was me a little bit nervous about turning you away because yeah. I feel like saying actor or model or something like that. But it's I, like instantly I'll, yeah. I'll label you as that. Yeah. I haven't done anything since like 2016 mm -hmm. and I've just done a couple of commercials for money in the meantime. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. 
I just went about it the wrong way, mm. you know, and that you had to feel that the way you, that you did, yeah, it wasn't ideal. No, just sit there and be in your brother's house and him say that, I was like, <gasps> like, am I being like so bl blinded? Are you that good of an actor that you could fool even <laughs> I can tell someone you right like now, me? I'm pretty shit. But then I thought, if he's that good of an actor, he, he's not going to be here, is he? Yeah, that's he's going to be in America. <laughs> I need Angie to leave from our date with no doubt it's coming up to the end. Angie's got big decisions to make. I need to let her know how I feel. I hope that right now you are feeling a lot more settled. Th like, this is our last date, mm -hmm. you know, and for me, I want you to leave not having any doubts. One, about just me and my character, but mm. two, about how I feel about you. Well, YouTube, if you can't get enough Bachelor, you need some more highlights. You'll find them by clicking right here. And if you want to see us every single week, you should subscribe. Subscribe to that. Well, YouTube, if you can't get enough Bachelor content, then you need to see more highlights. You'll find them right here. And you can also subscribe to this channel by clicking below.